you can tell I've not done this in a while because I swear to God, the amount of trouble I've just had trying to get this set up, you wouldn't even believe. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry that it has been probably about, is it six or seven weeks since I last uploaded a video. I'm not even going to give you all the excuses. I'm just going to crack on with it. I hope that you all had an absolutely incredible Christmas and New Year. I've got my new ring light now as well, so the lighting should be top notch. There shouldn't be any problem with it. So as you can see from the title, I've been to good old Primark, Anna. Because, to be fair, it was the home section that impressed me the absolute most. And I just thought that I would go in and have a little look now. I went into Primark Home two weeks ago and evidently they've just had a restock because they had loads of really, really nice stuff in it. And today, I won't lie, a lot of it had gone. So had some really nice bits that I've picked up. So I thought that I would show you guys what I have got. It was going to be mainly just a homeware haul, but I got a couple of clothes as well. So it's sort of like half and half. I'd say I've definitely got more homeware than I have clothes. So I'm just going to jump into it because it was my birthday. Well, my birthday was yesterday and I had some money to spend. So I just thought, right, let's go into Primark and see what they've got. So, that's what I've got for you guys today. If you haven't already, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button below. It really, really helps me out. Also, as well, I just want to say a big thank you to all of my new subscribers as well. Again, I apologise. There's been such a gap in this, like, in-between videos. I do apologise. But that will not be happening again. I promise you that. If I keep looking up here and not here, it's because I'm looking in the viewfinder and not in the camera. Also as well, if you haven't hit the bell notification, please make sure to do so, to make sure that every time I upload a video, it goes straight into your subscription boxes, because I don't want to be uploading videos and you guys obviously not getting them, because that's very annoying. But, I hope that you guys enjoy this video, and as well, I want to put something out into the universe. I had a dream a couple of nights ago that I uploaded a video, and in 12 hours it got 801,000 views and my channel blew up and this became like my full-time job like overnight so if we can sort of like put that into the universe for me I would massively appreciate it but I want to crack on with the haul now and I'm probably going to start off with shall we start with clothes first and then we'll go on to like the homeware stuff towards the end or should I do the homeware stuff now Let's do the clothes and then we'll end on like the homeware stuff because I think that's probably what you guys are probably more excited about and I'll leave you guys waiting in suspense. So, the first thing that I'm going to show you is I actually didn't buy this today. My friend bought me this for my birthday because I saw it the day before. So, it is this Los Angeles. It's a jumper. I don't know if you can see it. It is a sweatshirt and if you can probably see by what it says there and the font and what it says on the back, it says Los Angeles on the back and Los Angeles on the front. Now you guys are probably going to be able to tell straight away what a, a copy of this is of. It is a copy of Palm Angels. If you don't know what Palm's Angel is, it's like a designer brand but I'd say it's probably more like lower end sort of like designer and I'm not meaning that in an offensive way but it's like price range and things like that. It is available in like Harvey Nichols and stuff like that but it's not like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Chanel. It's more like the more affordable designer if you see what I mean. And this is literally Palm Angels, just without the Palm Angels above the Los Angeles. Because I was actually was in Harvey Nichols today, and I was looking at the Palm Angels section, and it's literally this, just without Palm's Angel, and it's mad. Because this in Palm Angel probably about 250 quid, 200 quid, and this was £14. And what I like about it as well, it's really, really thin, and it's cuffed at the sleeves as well. And I don't know what it's picking up on camera, but it's like a washed out grey blue. I don't know what it's picking up on camera, but that's what it is. So I love that. I've already worn it. I wore it on my birthday yesterday. And like it says that on the back. So it's like across your shoulder blades. So that's the first clothing item that I have got. One thing that I would say about Primark at the minute. Well, I know it's kind of sort of like known. Kind of like Primark sizes are all a bit all over the place. And a bit strange because I keep what you've got to bear in mind with Primark is a lot of the t-shirts in the men's section anyway I don't know about the girls but in the men's section there's no give in the t-shirts so like the shape of the t-shirt is the shape of the t-shirt because usually when I wear a t-shirt I stretch it out a bit because I'm a thicker boy you know what I mean so I gotta fucking stretch it out a bit but with a lot of the t-shirts that I saw today there was literally no stretch so I would just sort of take that into consideration when you're buying your clothes the next thing that I got, as soon as I saw this, I was like, I'm off to a beef in June. The vlogs will be coming, I can promise you. It's all getting filmed. I apologise in advance for the 
state that I will be in, but you know, whatever, live my best life. But I saw this and I thought a beefer. Straight away, I thought all my days a beefer, and it is literally this linen shirt. It's a short sleeved shirt, as you can see, and it is a linen blend. So I don't think it's pure linen, it's a mixture of linen and I think cotton, but it is absolutely beautiful. The second I saw it, I thought, mate, that nice pair of shorts, nice pair of like shoes. That, a beefer, Ocean Beach, yeah, absolutely. And this was literally 10 quid and I got it in an extra large. And yeah, I just think that is absolutely beautiful. I love the detailing of like the um, the collar. It reminds me of, do you remember a couple of years ago when Burberry bought out like, they were called like pajama shirts. It looked like a, paj a pajama shirt, but it were a shirt. So the next thing now, I'm so excited about this as well. I'm so happy I got this. So basically, it is a body warmer gelée, however you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. And have you seen like the pattern on it? Can you see like that sort of like padded pattern? Now, what I love about this is it's thin. It's not because I've got um I've got two other body warmers. I've got a Canada Ghost one, which is absolutely boiling boiling and then i've got another one that's from asos again really padded boiling so i think what's going to be really nice about this is the fact that it's so thin see how thin that is so i'm not going to be absolutely sweating to death with it but it really gives me like it gives me like farmer-esque it's like just give me put me in my hunter wellers give me a sausage dog on a walk don't disturb me i at you for your bullshit i stay in my own lane no drama for me keep me out of it yeah don't fucking disturb me, don't piss me off, leave me to walk, my sausage dog, in peace and quiet. This is what this gives me. It's like farmer-esque. They had it in black, and when I saw it two weeks ago, there was the khaki green and there was the black. And when I saw it, I thought, oh, when I go back, I'll get the black one, just because I really like the colour black. And then when I saw the khaki green, I was like, oh, I don't know. But then I thought, well, I love khaki green on me, because it makes me look like more tanned and stuff. I just think it's really nice. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And on the inside as well, it's kind of like this sort of like, it's like this, it's not reversible, but it's really like soft. It's like this cotton kind of thing. And then got that in an extra large as well. And that was only 15 quid. And I thought for 15 quid, I can't leave that for 15 pound. Do you know what I mean? I can't do it. I can't do a try on because I don't have enough room in my bedroom to do that for you guys but when i do sort of like get my own place i'll definitely do try-ons for you so yeah and then i don't know if you can see but there's also pockets on it as well sorry if i'm not showing it that well to be honest but it's got pockets there and yeah like i said that was 15 pound i just thought i could not i could not pass that up so we've got one last clothing thing and then we're on to the homeware so the next thing that i got was this t-shirt now again when i was looking at it i thought i just don't know about there's no stretch there's no giving it like whatsoever so the t-shirt that it is this i got this in a 2xl because again no stretch so this was eight pound and it's a 47 by 49 inch 119 to 124 centimeter if you know your measurements exactly and it is basically this california los angeles all-terrain running club and then on the back this is what it looks like now this is definitely a thicker cotton and basically this is just giving me it's just basically a copy of balenciaga do you know like in 2019 they had like the balenciaga was it feed the world or it was like for charity and it was like i think it was like an illuminous yellow t-shirt and i think it's a black one and it was like balenciaga feed the world or or keep the world pure something like that it was basically for charity so but this is literally a copy of that but basically just for like the california uh running club and the thing is i have absolutely nothing in this color because as you can see i'm like a white nude neutral khaki green i wear a little bit of red but i don't wear blue ever and i don't wear white simply because it just makes me look bigger than i already am i just thought the blue was nice and i just sh i showed my mum and my auntie and they were like that looks really nice but i don't know about the size of it because i got a double i got a double xl but i don't know if it's now i don't know if it's going to fit me around like my body but then be too long because i don't wear anything that's oversized because i've come to the conclusion and the realization that if i wear things that are oversized it just makes me look bigger than i am and i don't want that so i don't wear anything at all that's oversized i've sold like i've sold the majority of my wardrobe i'm not joking on my vintage account which is dan chapelo so if you guys want to go over to my vintage account 
I would say as well, if you want my clothes, and I'm not saying this to sound like egotistical, but like my clothes sell like that. So if you want my clothes, I'll leave my vintage account below. It's just Dan Chapelo. Click on it, and if you see something that you want, I really advise that you just buy it there and then because it will it will be gone. So now we're gonna go on to like the home bit, which is the main reason why I went. So the first thing that I will show you is this. Now something that I love about Primark now as well is that. They now wrap all their like decor bits in like this paper, which they never did before, and I think it's a really good idea because I think they should have done it the whole time. But when I saw this, now a couple of weeks ago, me and my friend went into H&M Home. I'm not being funny with you. I don't know where they get the prices from. I think it is very expensive for what it is, and I think they really need to bring down the pricing where I think it's just very expensive for what it is. But Primark have just, they've literally just absolutely smashed it with dupes of Zara Home, H&M Home, White Company Home. There was a candle that I wanted and it was a copy of a Dip Tea candle and it was massive, absolutely massive and it smelled beautiful, it smelled beautiful and it was a Beaumont scent and it was £10. That candle in Dip Tea would be about £250 to £300 and they had it in Primark for a tenner literally exactly the same but when i went they sold out but i knew they would because it smelled beautiful and it was really really cheap so the first thing that i will show you is this here look at that do not tell me that is not a copy of the like h&m like candle holder thing this in h&m is 35 pound i got it in primark for six quid i don't know if you can see that six pound i mean just saying you know what i mean because basically in my bedroom i the walls are getting repainted like they're gonna stay white but it's gonna be like an off white there's a sample of it on my wall there but i can't show you and it's gonna be more like just it's white with a warm undertone and i'm gonna be bringing bits of like this sort of like shading if you can see it's like ombre it's like a stone color here then it's sort of like Ombres down to like a darker beige stone, like a beige stone. I don't know if you can see it, but it's picking it up on camera. But yeah, and that was like I say, six pound. You can actually put candles in it, but I don't think I am. I think I'm just gonna sort of leave it, sort of like on my console table, which is behind the camera, and leave it like that. So I thought that was an absolute bargain for six quid, and I'm probably gonna leave it wrapped up for the time being. But I could have spent a fortune. I could have spent an absolute fortune in the Primark home, but I just thought I'm not going to buy loads and loads of stuff because my room's not that big and I'm a very minimal person. So I don't really like loads of stuff on worktops and things like that. I like clear spaces, so I don't want to fill my room with stuff. But when I start looking to buy my own house, I'm going to start like buying stuff. So there'll be a lot more videos of like homeware and things like that. So if you are interested in that kind of stuff, do hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss out. So the next thing that I got now, when I saw this, right, not being funny with you, when I saw it, I was like, that is a bit of me. Now, I currently, currently work in an office, which we are working very hard to change. So please hit the subscribe button because I don't want to work there anymore because I can't fucking stand it. Okay, we love to see it. Now, but while I'm working there, obviously, I, because of everything that's gone on in the world, we now work shorter hours, so we no longer get a lunch break, so we eat our desks. And I am doing really, really well with healthy eating and all that, and I like to bring salads and different meals to work. So what I usually do is I will cook my dinner on a night time, and then I'll just half it and put half into, normally it's plastic Tupperware and have it at work for lunch. But if anyone will know what I mean if they use plastic Tupperware, after a while, no matter how much you clean it, if you hand wash it, if you put it in the dishwasher, the plastic just starts to get a really odd smell and I can't stand it. No matter how much you wash it and no matter how many times you replace it, it just starts getting like this smell. So I wanted a different one and I'd seen one in Aldi and it was a glass tub with a plastic lid. Now a plastic lid I'm not too bothered about. I just didn't want the whole thing to be plastic. So I went into Primark this morning and as soon as I saw this I was like that's a bit of me. 
look at this. Look at that. Now, never did I think that I would get excited over Tupperware, but this is pop. Right, I don't know if the camera's picking it up because I think the light's like blurring it out, but it's two-tone. It's like a stone coloured here with like stone speckles on, and then here it's like a matte beige with a plastic lid that you can literally just take off like that. So that's the plastic lid, and it's got like, you know, the thing on it. I don't know what, is it just to let steam out like that, whatever it is, um, and that's the lid. And then this is the bowl. Yeah, like I say, I didn't think I'd get excited over a bowl, but I just thought that is a bit of me. That is my aesthetic. Look at that. Beige top. Beige bowl. Look at that. And this was really, a, this was £5 for a pot, I thought. Not bad, Primark. You see, that, that I find reasonable. So, that's, as soon as I, it was the first thing that I picked up. The second I saw it, I thought, that is a bit of me. So, moving on. I think, oh, we're on to the last thing, guys. I told you it wasn't like a massive haul. But, the next thing that I got was this reed diffuser right here. Look at that. Eh? Look at that. It's kind of sort of like a smoked glass. It's kind of sort of like a browny colour. And then it's got the black. I like black reed diffusers or I like the like the wood bamboo ones, I think they look really nice. I don't like any sort of like coloured bamboo or anything like that. And they're quite thick as well. I really don't like the thin, and this might sound really bizarre, but I don't like thin reed diffuser sticks. I like the big fat chunky ones. I just think they look better. And this is in the Sen Linen, and it is a home reed diffuser, and it's, it can last up to two months. So that's on the side of the console table or one of the shelves. is going to look really nice, but I am a bit of a... I am a reed diffuser, I don't want to say hoarder, but collector. I have a, an array of reed diffusers. I just basically like to be restocked, like stocked up on everything when it comes to like things that smell good because I'm very particular about like scents and things smelling nice. I like my room to smell nice. That's going to really annoy me if you can see that in the shop. So yeah, I like the room to smell nice. I like to smell nice. I like the car to smell nice. So reed diffusers are a must. And that, guys, is everything. And for all of that, the grand total was £48. So literally for a body warmer, a linen shirt, a t-shirt, and all the home decor stuff, £48. Now, that body warmer in any other shop, Zara, ASOS, would probably be about £40 to £45 on its own, if not more. So for all of that, for £48, quid, I think is a bargain. They've definitely put the prices up and they've got some really nice homeware things in, but I do find that for Primark, some of the stuff is quite expensive. Like there was um, a hoodie, but it was £25 and I thought, I'm not paying £25 for a hoodie from Primark when four or five years ago, you could have got that for six quid. Like I'm just not doing it, you know what I mean? Like I sort of know what's worth it and what's not. But guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Like I have said, if you have not hit the subscribe button yet, please make sure to do so. I will link my Instagram on the screen now. I'll put it on the screen and I will link it in the down bar. If you don't follow me on there, I really suggest that you do help your boy out. And also as well, don't forget to hit the bell notification. Also as well, I'd really appreciate it if you share this on like TikTok and like your Instagram and whatever the case may be. It really, really helps me out. You have no idea. Please also give it a thumbs up because it really puts the video on the algorithm to get my video pushed to the forefront so that more people can see it would really appreciate it so until next time guys i hope that you all have an absolutely incredible week and i will see you in a week's time i promise you there is another video next week that is the plan weekly uploads again so until next time guys have a good day and i will see you in the next video bye